Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. The Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. President Trump returns from his holiday weekend at Mar-a-Lago, where he celebrated Easter with his family. <laughs> his administration responding on multiple fronts to North Korea's failed missile tests, emphasizing while the provocation was small, the U.S. and its allies are ready to consider all options to deter the rogue nation from developing a nuclear weapon. Trump's National Security Advisor, General McMaster, speaking from Afghanistan, said the National Security Council, the Pentagon, the State Department, and U.S. intelligence agencies are working on a wide range of options for Trump to use if North Korea continues its threatening behavior, including diplomacy, economic incentives and sanctions, and military action. But he says the goal is to resolve this short of armed conflict. All options are, are on the table, going, undergoing refinement and further and, development. And how this problem is coming to a head, and a so head. it's time for us to undertake all actions we can, short of a military option, oh. to try to resolve this peacefully. Trump tweeting that the U.S. is preparing for more aggressive action if necessary, saying our military is building and is rapidly becoming stronger than ever before. Frankly, we have no choice. Oh, wow. Oh, uh. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Pre- yeah, it Didn't McMaster just say everything is on the table short of military action? And so then why is Trump, you know, uh, listen, if this world gets destroyed by two guys with the worst hair doozies in the history of the universe, and that includes, and I know you're not supposed to mention the Hitler. I, I saw what happened to Sean. I saw what happened to Spicer. I did. Well, you know, I don't want Melissa McCarthy to be doing imitations of me on the SNL. But I mean, honest to God, Hitler was the most evil man in history, uh, you know, unless you're talking to Sean Spicer. And, you know, this guy took grooming tips from Charlie Chaplin and Mo from the Three Stooges. Now we got these two other guys with these doozies and their missiles always fizzle, don't they? They just, uh, woof. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, maybe they could bond over the idea that their missiles, uh, you know, um, misfire, let's just say. Maybe they could get to, you know, why don't they talk to each other? I don't understand. I thought he said he would talk to anybody. You know, if Putin likes me, that would be great. Of course, Putin liked him. Putin picked him. He's Putin's poodle. He's Putin's puppet. Of course, he liked him. Uh, but, I mean, honest to God, why can't he talk to Kim Jong-un? I mean, uh, take a look at the, the the two of them and tell me they don't have a ton in common. I mean, for God's sake, get, uh, uh, um, uh, r- r- what's his name? Dennis Rodman. Get him on the phone. He knows, you know, he's good friends with Kim Jong-un. Didn't they bond over basketball and things like that? Didn't, uh, you know, pierced boy go to North Korea and say he was a great guy and had a good, t- call him up. Use him as your emissary, your 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 envoy. Honest to God, I mean, I spent the whole weekend watching this uh, freaky parade. This was the weird. It's like, it's like, you know, and, and, and I have to tell you, Howard is in awe of the precision. In awe. He kept saying, wow, look at that. Look at the colors. You know, you'd think he dropped acid or something. I, and there's no other explanation. Why could he be in such awe? I thought, like, what did you take this morning? What is in your drink? What are you doing? What are you smoking? What are you snorting? What are you shooting? This is unbelievable. He'd go, look at the purple, man. Look at that. That is the most beautiful. Look at that purple. Oh, with the yellow. Oh, wow. I go, uh, do you see, do you not see the uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles? Uh, you know, that he's, per- you know, well, what kind of man has to do that? I mean, you know, Macy's Day Parade, we have, you know, like underdog and a couple of high school kids who do guard. You know what I mean? The flags and the wooden rifles. I like that. I enjoy that. It comes right before the dog show. It's a great day. I'm cooking. Why do you? Uh, why are you in awe of Kim Jong Un? You know. I don't know. I, I say what you will about uh, former dictators like Joseph Stalin. That man had a good head of hair, and he knew how to flaunt it. You might not like uh, the the Wilford Brimley, uh, you know, uh, the walrus mustache that you know Bolton's copied, but at least he put himself together. These two guys could bond over grooming. They could bond over Dennis Rodman. I mean, they really need to talk to each other. I cannot spend another weekend looking at you know uh, uh, these paint jobs on probably what is just you know rusty tubes and thinking that the world is coming to an end. I you know who needs this? Who needs this? And then, you know, if you wanted to look away, what were your choices on the TV? 
If you wanted not to see this parade, if you wanted to look away, you either had Passion of the Christ, which was run on an endless loop on my friend's TV network. Oh, yes. She ran that all weekend long. Gotta, you know, she is my friend. My, my friend, you know, the girls that come in, you know, that uh, we hang with. Yeah, she's one of them. And uh, she works for the TV channel that actually, she's the marketing person at the TV channel that actually decided Passion of the Creased on an em- endless loop for Easter weekend is really where we ought to be programming. That's really where, we, that's our goat. And the other one was the Ten Commandments for the Jews. Where's your Moses now? See? <laughs> So, of course, I chose uh, Ten Commandments because you, you really can't watch that enough times. You just uh, you just can't. Makes you uh, <laughs> makes you almost like Charlton Heston, uh, you know, is what it is. Well, he looks good in a in a in a in a skirt, you know, and very few men uh, again. Can't, you know, it's all about the, the, the fashion choices. So anyway, you know, listen, I, I mean, you got your stereotypical authoritarian men staring each other down a painted tube all weekend long. And you've got China saying, could you please ratchet it down, moron boy, to both of them. Please ratchet it down. Go get your hair done or something. Uh, you know, go, 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 go rethink your outfit, something. Do something other than threaten each other. And then you have McMaster actually getting on the TV going, anything short of military, I'm, I'm down with it. You know, we really don't have a State Department. We should actually, uh, you know, invest in that. You know, they talk about soft power and smart power and all this crap. And I'm just like, you know, I I, I, I just I I can't take it anymore. I really can't. Every single Friday, every single Friday, we're on the brink of actual disaster. Every freaking Friday. It's something horrific. This is no way to be America. It just isn't. And then, oh, my God, what's the new national story? You know, last week we had uh, poor, you know, even my poor mother, you know, with all this uh, crazy fake news that goes on the TV. She's like, you know, is Dr. Dow really a doctor? Because, they, you know, our media, uh, the right wing media, okay, we do have different medias. The right wing media, if God forbid somebody is beaten on an airplane by a corporate uh, entity, then that corporation is the person, the person they will defend in that scenario, even if it's filmed, even if it's on Facebook, YouTube. Oh, wait. But uh, honest to God, man, they were defending United for dragging that man off the plane. Now we know they broke his nose, knocked out his teeth. He was 69 years old. All three of his children, doctors, tiger moms, I'm telling you. And uh, he's now going to sue, as he should. And so what does the right wing do? They go and they try and dig up dirt on Dr. Dow to the point where my mother is actually asking me, is he really a doctor? You know what I mean? These are people, my mom's a a woman of good faith, obviously. My mom is, you know, uh, somebody that uh, you would think, you know, the way I was raised gives everybody the benefit of the doubt. Uh, But they have her questioning uh, her her center. They have her questioning her core because they have no core. And so they project that this is okay to do, that you should attack the victims. You should actually go find dirt on Dr. Dow. Like maybe 10 years ago, something happened. And this is the reason why he deserved to be dragged down. The, it's, it's, it's unbelievable because corporations are people and we're not. We're cattle. We're not. We're, we're the unwashed masses. We're the people that have to pray pray that some lawyer will work on contingency on our behalf and figure out some loophole in the law that actually protects us from corporate, uh, you know, uh, uh, corporate entities saying uh, that they have control over our bodies. I mean, it's just what a ridiculous place this has turned out to be. But now, uh, you know, you've got this this guy who posted this murder on Facebook. Holy crap. Did you see this? This man and they can't find him. I don't know why they can't find him. He gave out his freaking phone number in that Facebook video. He was actually on the phone with somebody. I don't know who he was talking to. He's calling him Dog. And he was saying, Dog, got to go. My phone's blowing up. Got to, you know, my phone's ringing. My phone's ringing. Da, 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 da. And then he hung up and apologized to the Facebook viewers. Sorry about that, he said. I mean, people are so freaking delusional in this country. It's unbelievable. And who did he kill? He killed this elderly man, a 74-year-old man who was leaving his family, uh, said to his family, see you next time, left. And he was walking, you know, down the street with like his goodie bag. You know how you always put, like I put the carcass 
for Loretta because she'll pick at that for a week. Suck the bones for a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, she was raised during the Depression. But uh, yeah, here's here's what went on on Facebook. And they're looking. There's a five state manhunt for this dude who gave out his freaking phone number. We can't find him. I mean, Russia can get the IP addresses of every voter in Wisconsin, but we can't find Steve Stevens. Hi. Can you do me a favor? Can you say Joy Lane? What? Can you say Joy Lane? Joy Lane. Yeah. She's the reason why um, this is about to happen to you. How old are you? Oh man, look, hey, look, look, I don't, I don't know, I don't know nobody about it. Oh God. Oh God. What kind of a country have we become? What kind of a nation are we? And the other story that's that that should just be frying your butt today, you know, uh, besides for, you know, obviously this this Russia thing is about to come to a head with Trump. Obviously something, uh, you know, went on with data and getting data and hacking into the voter rolls and then getting uh, the, the information over to Cambridge Analytica, which, by the way, is owned by the Russians and invested in by the Mercers who own Breitbart. I mean, it's one big circular thing. And then everything that they want said gets said on right wing media, especially Alex Jones. Did you know that Alex Jones was going through a heinous, hideous, unbelievable uh, divorce uh, that involves the custody of three children? So his missiles don't miss fire. He's got a 12 year old, a nine year old and, and I think a seven year old girl. And uh, his wife is being, uh, um, I don't know, bled dry in legal fees. And so his lawyer has decided to um, to defend Alex Jones by saying this is amazing that Alex Jones is really a fraud. What? Donald Trump goes on a frauds radio show to say you've got a fabulous reputation and I'm supporting you and I'll be behind you. Really? Isn't this fascinating? And Roger Stone is sitting on a fraudulent, uh, you know, host's radio and that everything he says is made up. I swear to God, this is how his lawyer is defending him uh, because his wife says he's unstable, he's dangerous, and uh, she's afraid for the kids to be in the house where apparently, you know, I've been accused of doing this from my closet. I've been accused of sitting here in my house. I am not in my house. I actually have a place of business. I actually pay rent. I, I actually have this studio and uh, it costs us money to run it. So please buy a stinking podcast. And we actually, uh, you know, uh, have a real business. But he does his in his house in Austin, Texas, and his kids are apparently there. And his wife is saying he's so unstable, she feels he has involved himself in felonious activities, like threatening the life of a congressman, which he did do. I almost played it last week. I, I tweeted it. I said it was breathtaking. He, he Alex Jones, uh, 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 threatened Adam Schiff, the ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee, because Alex Jones is on the side of Roger Stone and Russia and Michael Flynn and, uh, you know, uh, 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 Boris Epstein and all, all these Russian uh, intermediaries. He's on their side. And when Adam Schiff said that uh, Alex Jones is acting like a Russian agent, Alex Jones said to Roger Stone, he went into this diatribe where he said he was going to kick his ass so hard. And his wife brought that into the court to show he was unstable. And they said, oh, no, he's just faking. Randy Rhodes Air Force. Air Force. Air Force. Randy Rhodes .com. Go to randyroads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.